Hi everyone, welcome to Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Doug the Pug. Okay, so this is Doug the Pug. And to draw a Doug, you will need a pencil and an eraser, if you make any mistakes, and a pencil sharpener, and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline him when you're finished with the pencil. And you might need some colors as well, some markers or some pencil crayons. But as usual, I'm going to use this gray marker to draw him just so you guys can see a little bit better, but you should be using a pencil. Now Doug is going to start with a big circle or oval shape for his head. Just like this. Okay, now pugs have big round eyes. So I'm going to make another circle on this side, but I'm going to make it just go outside of the side of where I drew the circle for his face. And I'm going to make this circle over here go outside as well. Because pugs kind of have buggy out eyes. Just like that. I'm going to make another oval shape for um, Doug's nose. Pugs have kind of flat faces and flat little noses. So just like that. And then I'm going to draw two kind of curving sausage shapes for the parts of Doug's lip or his mouth. So one like this and one more on the other side. Just like that. And when I use my black marker to outline, I'm not going to outline some of these lines so that you can erase them at the end. So I'm going to give Pug two little nose holes or nostrils. They will be little circles inside the circle we made for his nose. One there. And one there. Next, we're going to draw a uh, dog's tongue. It's kind of hanging out of the side of his mouth. So I'm going to draw a curved line like this and bring it back up to make his tongue. And I'll put a little line in the middle of his tongue just like that, to show a little fold in his tongue. Now for Doug's ears, he's got little kind of flappy over ears, so I'm going to make another curving line like this, and I'm gonna bring it back up and connect it to his head. His ear is kind of folded over. And then I'll show the inside of his ear with another curved line, just like that. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna make a curved line coming out from the side of the head, a little bump in it, and then bring it back up like that. And then another curved line to show the inside of that ear, just like that. And before we do his body, I think we should finish his eyes. So I'm going to make one curved line like this, and then I'm gonna draw a circle to show where the light is in his eye right there, just at the side of his eye. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This pug is a little bit cross-eyed, so. Oh, sorry, I should have done it like this. There we go, that's better. And then draw on the circle afterwards, my mistake, like that. Okay. Now for uh, Doug's uh, bottom lip, I'm just going to make a curving line, like a, like a very gentle W kind of a shape, just there, and that's the bottom lip. Now for uh, his pug body, we're going to make a little kind of circle shape underneath his head, just like that. And then for his front feet, this is a little bit like uh, what we did um, a few lessons ago with Fiona, who was our fox, we did the two straight lines like this, and then we gave her three toes. We're going to do the same for Doug with the three little toes and connect it back. And the same here, two lines to show the sides of the legs, and then three circles to show his pug toes. One, two, and three. And again, it's going to look a little bit like what we did for uh, Fiona. We're going to make a little back leg 
by bringing a line out and back like that and then put the three toes at the one, two, three behind like that and connect them like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. Curved line to there and then a little line for the top of the foot and three toes. One toe, two toes, three toes and another little line to show the back of the foot like that. And we can't see Doug's tail. Doug's tail is behind his body right now. Now pugs have kind of little wrinkly faces, so I'm going to put a couple of little lines just to show a few wrinkles in Doug's face. Sometimes pugs have a little bit of a worried look on their face because of these little wrinkles they've got. I'll put one more there. And that's all of the drawing you would do with your pencil. We're going to do the rest of the drawing with your black marker or black pencil crayon for outlining. And as I draw, I'm going to skip some lines. I'm not going to um, go over the top of some lines because I would want to erase them at the end. So pay attention to what lines I don't use my black marker on. So I'm going to start with the top of the head. Like this. And here's a place where I'm not going to keep going with the line. I'm just going to outline the ear and leave that little part between just still in pencil. So I can erase it at the end. Just like that. So I'm going to do that lots of times with this. I'm not going to finish that line there. I'm just going to keep going from right here at the bottom of the ear. And for the eye, I'm going to trace around the outside of the eye. But then when I go into the eyeball, I'm not going to trace over that extra part. I'm just going to leave that like that. And then I can erase that gray part in there because it's you should have used a pencil for that. Now, I was reading a little bit about pugs before I made this video, and I found out some things I didn't know about pug dogs. One of them is that pug dogs come from China and that they are an old species or type of dog that pugs are more than 2,000 years old. That's when the, we first saw pugs, was more than 2,000 years ago. And that they were very special dogs in China, that only very powerful and rich people had pugs in, in the old times in China. And some pugs were so important that they actually had their own palace or their own castles and their own guards because maybe they were the favorite pug of someone very powerful like an emperor. Now unfortunately pugs are very cute but they do have some problems with their health because their faces are so smooshed so sometimes they have a little bit of trouble breathing well and you can often tell because pugs usually snore when they sleep because their nose is a bit squished like that. And it's another reason why pugs often don't like to run an awful lot. They are very excited little dogs, but they can't run a long way because it's hard for them to breathe through their nose. They're also dogs that really like people. They don't really like to be by themselves. So a pug dog is a very good dog to have for a pet if you don't want to be lonely. There we go, we've outlined all of his head. Now one very cute thing I found out about pugs is that pug babies are called puglets, which sounds a little bit like piglets, and it's a cute sounding word, puglets. Some people think that pugs are a kind of bulldog because they look a little bit like bulldogs, but actually they are not related at all. They are a different kind of dog than a bulldog. Okay, so I think we'll do the bottom of the belly and the side here. And you can see there's lots of places where I didn't trace over my original gray line. That would be your pencil line because I want to erase those at the end. And around here. And one more thing that I think is very cute and funny is that a group of pugs together 
is called a grumble of pugs. And I think it might be because pugs sometimes look a little bit grumpy. They look like they might be grumbling. Okay, so that is Doug the Pug. Um, I'll bring back the color version for you to take a look at. So I colored pugs, uh, sorry, Doug the Pug's eyes, kind of a mix of black and purple. I colored his nose a lighter purple, his tongue pink, and I made uh, his mouth brown, his ears brown, inside the ears pink. And then I used a very light kind of cream or very light brown to color his body. But of course, you can color Doug the Pug any colors you like, or even change his name to something else. Okay, thanks for coming. I hope to see you guys again.